Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Plumbing. Ah! Oh, can someone fix this tap? What's wrong, Daddy? I just want to have a bath and the tap is dripping cold water on my toes. That tap's been dripping for ages. Shall I just fix it with magic? No, Nanny Plum! The last time you fixed a tap with magic, you flooded the whole kingdom. Oh, yes, so I did. You need a plumber. Good idea, Ben. Let's call the elf plumber. Hello, is that the elf plumber? Yes, this is the elf plumber. We've got a dripping tap. Ah, taps can be tricky. I'll be right over. OK, thanks. Goodbye. He'll be right over. The elf plumber is here, Your Majesty. That was quick. Good day. But that's just the wise old elf. I'll have you know I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a fully qualified plumber. Oh, good. Can you fix our tap? Yes. This is bad. Who put this tap in for you? You did. Ah, very good workmanship. You haven't been turning it on and off, have you? A bit, yes. When we use the bath. Ah, well, that's the trouble then. I was going to fix it with magic. No, you must never mix magic and plumbing. Well, can you mend it? Yes. Watch a master plumber at work. And that is how you fix a tap. Amazing! Oh, dear. Can't you just kick it again? Ho, ho, ho! A nice idea, Your Majesty. But I didn't take three years of plumbing school to just kick things. That pipe will have to come out. The whole pipe? I'm afraid so. It'll need digging out. Fine. Do whatever it takes. Just get it fixed. Um, this might be a good time to get out of the bath, Your Majesty. Oh, righto. Everyone stand clear. Hello? Darling sister, how are you? It's my sister, Queen Marigold. Oh, no! Great news. We've just had our castle rebuilt and we want you to come and see it. They want us to go and see their rebuilt castle. Oh, no! A visit to the snooty marigolds. Do we have to go? I'll handle this. King Thistle speaking. I hear you've had your castle rebuilt. Oh, it's very modern. All open plan, don't you know? Lots of space and air. Not like your stuffy old castle. Well, someone's doing up our castle too. He's very good. They're having the little castle done up. Oh, we simply must go and see. We'll be right over, darlings. Toodle pip. There's good news and bad news. What's the good news? Actually, it's just bad news. The marigolds are coming here. Oh, no! It gets worse. I told them someone was doing up the castle for us. Oh, yes? Who's that, then? You! Oh. It's always the same with the marigolds. They're just coming over to laugh at us. Oh, well, I'm sure the wise old elf can do something to make our castle a bit better. Yes, I've got a few ideas already. We can put in plastic windows and add a few garden gnomes. No, no, no! It needs to be super modern. I can do super modern. Concrete, glass, even taps that don't drip. That's more like it. Give me a year and I'll turn this castle into a palace. But the marigolds are coming today! Oh. And they're expecting a modern, open-plan castle. Don't worry, Queen Thistle. I can rebuild your castle. And we can help. Yes! 
darling, why don't you go out for a nice walk and leave it with us? Why do I have to go away? Well, it's like one of those shows you see on the telly where you go away and they do your house up in a day and when you come back, it's lovely. Oh, I see. That sounds nice. Bye. Bye. When you come back, you won't recognise the place. Right. What's the plan? It's a big job. Can we get it done by tonight? Maybe, if we bodge it. What does bodge it mean? It's just a term we use in the building trade. Oh. Right. This wall has got to come out for a start. I suppose you know what you're doing. Don't worry. I always get the building inspector to check my work. Who's the building inspector? Me. But how can you inspect your own work? Oh, I'm very strict. Hmm, let me see now. Having some work done, are you? Ah, uh, yes. Dear, oh dear, who did this for you? You did. It's very bad work. Very, very bad work. You see, when I'm the building inspector, I'm very strict. Yes, you said your own work was rubbish. Which means it will all have to be redone. This is going to be a much bigger job than I thought. <coughs> Calling all elves. I'll be needing the elf truck, the elf digger and the elf crane. Hello, wise old elf. What's the job? We need to take all this away. All what? All of the castle. Really? Yes. We're going to rebuild it from scratch. Right all. Come on, lads. Let's get cracking. Goodness, what a lot of noise. Take it away. Afternoon, Your Majesty. Ah. Yes, um, carry on. That's everything, lads. Off you go. Daddy, they've taken the whole castle away. This is a disaster. Cooey. Oh, no, it's Mummy. Can I take a look now? Uh, only if you close your eyes. Oh, this is fun. Just like those shows on the telly. Can I open my eyes now? I wouldn't. Tell me when I can. Uh, in about a month. Oh! Where's our home gone? Uh, well... What do you think the marigolds will say when they see this? They'll laugh and laugh and laugh. <laughs> Darling sister. Oh, my word. Oh, I say. It isn't quite how we expected it to be. I don't know what to say. It's, uh, not finished yet. It's incredible. Amazing. We went for high ceilings. You went for no ceilings at all. And look at the toilet. Yes, completely open plan. It's so adventurous. Well, it was all mostly my idea. King, this your old boy. You're a born architect. Have you considered teaching architecture? Oh, I don't know. We must do this with our castle. Come on, darling. No time to lose. Sorry, we can't stay. Bye. 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 Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? Only because the marigolds are completely bonkers. <laughs> I want my home back. Nanny, magic the castle back, please. OK, but it'll have to be a very big spell. Thunder and lightning, blow, wind, blow. Back as it was, home sweet home. Ah, oh, that's better. My home is back. It's just how it was before. It's better than it was before. How? All that magic I used has also fixed the tap. Oh, well done, Nanny. I have to say, I'm impressed. Not one drip. Let's turn it on. <laughs> There's a fountain coming out of the toilet. 
toilet. There's a waterfall coming out of the sink. And rain coming out of the ceiling. Oh, dear. Maybe I shouldn't have done such a big spell. Like I said, you must never mix magic and plumbing. Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Elf school. Now, Princess Holly, what's the name of this flower? That's easy, Nanny. It's a daisy. Yes, yes. An elf might call it a daisy, but a fairy princess would call it a Bellis Per Ennius. <sighs> Bellis Per Ennius. Correct. Now, what is this bluebell called? A uh, bluebell? Oh, no, no, no. A fairy princess would call it a hyacinthoids non scripta. <sighs> oh, Nanny, nature class is so boring. Why do I have to learn the proper names of all these flowers? That is the sort of thing a fairy princess needs to know. Well, maybe I don't want to be a fairy princess. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Where are you going? I'm off to elf school. Oh, what do you do at elf school? We learn how to make toys. That sounds fun. It is. Elves love making toys and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make toys. Nanny, can I go to elf school too? But you're not an elf. You're a royal fairy princess. Oh, please, Nanny Plum. Please, Nanny Plum, let Holly come. Oh, OK. Hooray! <laughs> but I'll come along too, just to make sure you don't get into any mischief. OK, but hurry, we can't be late for elf school. <laughs> We're going to elf school. We're going to elf school. <laughs> We're going to elf school. We're going to elf school. <laughs> Going to elf school. <laughs> Come on, elf school is at the top of the tree. Ooh. Good morning, boys and girls. Good, Good morning, wise old elf. Ahem. <laughs> ah, Nanny Plum. Hello, Mr. Old Elf. Hello. Princess Holly wants to see what elves get up to in your little school. Hmm. Very well. Holly may join the class. Oh, goody. <laughs> but no magic or flying, please. OK. Holly, sit next to me. <laughs> <clears throat> no flying. You will kindly walk. Flying is not allowed at elf school. Only because elves can't fly. Um, that's right, Mistress Palum. Elves cannot fly. But we do have very good hearing. <laughs> <laughs> and elves are very good at making toys. So, today, we are going to make toys. Hooray! We will carry on from where we left off last time. Making a toy car. I'm making a toy duck. A toy helicopter. A toy boat. I'm making a toy frog. A toy rabbit. I'm making a robot. Ooh. I see that Miss Holly does not have a toy. That's okay. I'll magic one. Zing zang zingy zoi. Magic me a little toy. <gasps> Miss Holly, magic is not allowed at elf school. Only because elves can't do magic. <clears throat> elves could do magic if they wanted to, but elves don't do magic. And we're elves! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 
Miss Holly, uh, you can work on this toy owl for today. Thank you, wise old day. And I will take this wand for now so that you learn how to work the proper elf way without magic. Oh. Don't worry. You can have it back at the end of the class. Boys and girls, take out your hammers and remember to tap gently. Don't worry, Holly. I'll fix it. I've still got my magic wand. But, Nanny, magic isn't allowed at elf school. Oh, it'll be all right. No one will notice. Nick knack now, mend this owl. What was that loud bang? Uh, I think there's a bit of a storm brewing outside. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Well, as long as there's no magic going on... I assure you, Mr Old Elf, Princess Holly is not using magic. Naughty Nanny Plum. Oh, shush. Now it's time to paint our toys. Remember, be very careful. <laughs> a little paint goes a long, long way. Doing things without magic is very hard. Maybe you need just a teeny tiny bit of magic. Oh, are you sure? Trust me. <clears throat> Zigzag Zoe, paint this toy. Miss Holly, are you doing magic? <coughs> no, wise old elf, not me. Uh, I think it's just the storm outside. It must be really close now. <laughs> hmm. There's something funny going on around here. Wise old elf, what do we do next? A good question, Holly. Next, we wind the toys up. Doesn't work. Don't worry. I'll just give it a little help. <laughs> <coughs> Nanny Plum, have you been doing magic? Just a teeny tiny little bit to help things along. You are a very naughty fairy. Sorry, wise old elf. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say no more about it. Now, Holly. Let's see what your owl can do. Oh, uh, it doesn't work at all. Hmm, maybe too much magic went into its making. I can fix it. I'm very good at mending things. Should do it. Hooray! Thank you, Ben. I did try to do it the elf way. Yes, Holly. I know you did. But it's not easy to make toys without using magic. It's easy for us because we're elves. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Holly, here's your wand back. 
thank you. And remember, no magic until you have left the classroom. Yes, wise old elf. And that goes for you too, Nanny Palum. Yes, wise old elf. <laughs> <laughs> Today's adventure starts at Mrs. Witch's house. Mrs. Witch's spring clean. Mrs. Witch, are you in? Oh, hello, Nanny Plum. What are you doing here? I'm here to spring clean your cottage. And these are my helpers, Ben and Holly. Hello, Mrs. Mrs. Witch. Right, spring clean time. Oh. Goodness me! What a mess! Yes, I'm a terrible one for keeping things. I just can't throw anything away. Never mind. I'll throw things away for you. It, yes, the problem is everything in here is magical and dangerous. So someone has to look after it. What? Even this dishcloth? That's a little magic carpet from a magic doll's house. Well, where is this doll's house? Uh, I'm not sure. So you don't need it then, do you? What about this old mirror? That's my magic mirror. Hmm. What's this? That's my magic lamp. There's a genie in it, you know. Of course there is. Oh, dear. I'm not sure I want to spring clean. Ugh, what's this horrid stuff? My slug jam. Slug jam? We'll get rid of that for you. Good. Job done. Uh, thanks. You're really very kind. Nanny Plum, are these things really magical? No. Uh, it's just a load of old junk. Now, we've got to get rid of it all, starting with the slug jam. Slug jam? Ugh, disgusting. Nobody would want to eat that. I know. I'll put it safely at the back of the cupboard where no one can find it. I wonder if Mummy would like this mirror. My mum might like this pretty lamp. And maybe someone would want the old carpet. It'd have to be someone with very bad taste. That's a nice carpet. Mrs. Witch is throwing it away. Oh, it's not magical, is it? No, Nanny Plum said it's just junk. Do you want it? Yes, I would like it. Thank you. Ah, very nice. Very cosy. Beautiful blue sea and golden sand. It's a tropical paradise. A tropical paradise? I wish I was there. Ah! It is a magic carpet. Whoa! 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 Now listen here, you naughty magic carpet. Take me back at once. Whoa! Hello, Daddy. I've got a present for Mummy. Oh. Where is Mummy? She's been locked in the bathroom for ages, getting ready to go out. And I'm hungry. Here I am. You look lovely, Mummy. I've got something for you. Oh, thank you, my dear. It's a magic mirror. Mrs Witch didn't want it anymore. So, what does the magic mirror do? I tell the truth. Oh, how exciting. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? You are, Queen Thistle. Oh, how wonderful. Well, you normally are the fairest of them all. Oh, what do you mean? Well, it's a bit of a bad hair day today, isn't it? Oh, dear. Now I'll have to start all over again. <laughs> what did you say that for? Just telling the truth, Your Majesty. Now we'll be eating even later, and I'm starving. Hello, Mum. I've got a present for you. Mrs Witch had a spring clean and she threw this out. A lamp. Isn't it nice? Oh, lovely. Very brassy. I'll just give it a polish. I am the genie of 
the lamp. Oh, oh. he's very manly. Yeah. <laughs> I will grant you three wishes. What should we wish for? Why don't you dance for us? <laughs> Your wish is my command. <laughs> I wish for loud music. Very well. <laughs> I wish we had a big party with all of us dancing. That is your third and final wish. Uh, I can't stop. Uh, neither can I. No more dancing. Stop it now. But you have used up your three wishes. Bye-bye. Oh, no. I don't want to dance forever. Let's go and see King Thistle. He can sort it out. How are you doing in there, darling? I'm hungry. I'm ready. Mummy, you look super. Uh, yes, you look lovely. Right, let's go eat. I'll just ask the mirror what it thinks. Mirror, mirror, on the wall. How does my hair look now? Honestly, not good. Oh, dear. I don't know what to do. Let me help. I am a magic mirror, after all. Oh! There you go. Sorted. That's horrid. Change my hair back. No, it looks great. King Thistle, do something. Nobody will notice your hair. Come on, let's go to dinner. No, no. I can't go out like this. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to get a snack. Now then, what would be a lovely, tasty snack? Aha! Why does Nanny always put the best stuff at the back of the cupboard? Mmm, jam. Help! Help! What on earth is that awful racket? Pink thistle! Pink thistle! I wish for a big party and now I can't stop dancing! Oh, really? It was a genie from the witch's old lamp. Please help us, King Thistle. Witch's magic, eh? I can't help. Fairy magic doesn't work on witch's magic. Sorry and all that. Ah! Why, so now? What are you doing up there? This witch's carpet just flew me off to a tropical paradise. Ah! Well, just keep the noise down. There's a good fellow. My hair! My hair! The mirror has made it even worse. I don't think I can stand much more dancing. How do I stop this thing? Well, if you will all play around with witch's magic. <laughs> That's the most disgusting thing I've ever... Uh, Daddy, where did you get that jam? From the back of Nanny's cupboard. <gasps> You've just eaten the witch's slug jam. And it's a bit worse than that. It's magic slug jam. Oh, no! What's going to happen to me now? Um, you might change into a slug. This is outrageous! Magic mirrors, flying carpets, magic lamps, slug jam. Mrs Witch can jolly well take all this stuff back. Mrs Witch! Mrs Witch! Oh, Hello, King Thistle. I see you tried my slug jam. Ah, uh, yes. Could you turn me back into myself, please? Don't you like being a slug? It's delightful. I just feel a bit, uh, sticky. Oh, very well. Ah, oh, that's better. Mrs Witch, can you stop us dancing? Of course. Can you magic my hair back to normal? My pleasure. And would you mind taking all this stuff back? I don't want it. Eh? Hey, what? Throwing out all those old things made me realise I needed a proper spring clean. Anyone want a magic saucepan? Now what do we do? All this stuff is too dangerous to just leave lying around. Hmm. This is King's work. Gosh, what have you done to your house? What do you mean? I really liked it how you had it before. Much more witchy. Oh. This lamp would look really good here. That's where I had it. This slug jam would look nice here. That's where it's always lived. The carpet here and the mirror here. 
just where I had them. You really have got good taste, Mrs. Witch. That's why you've got such a nice little house. Oh, thank you. You're a lovely man. Oh, well, you know, I do my best. Goodbye, Mrs. Witch. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for all your help. Daddy, did you really think that Mrs. Witch's house was nicer with all that stuff in it? No, it was a big smelly mess. Why didn't you say so then? There's a time for telling someone their house is a big smelly mess and a time for being just nice. Today's adventure starts at the meadow. <laughs> the new one. <laughs> <laughs> Gaston wants to play fetch the stick. OK, I'll magic up a stick. Ready, Wandy? <whistles> Abracadabra! <whistles> Here you go, Gaston. Fetch the stick. <whistles> <whistles> Again? <whistles> <laughs> oh, it's raining. We're getting wet. No problem. Wand to umbrella. Wow, that's great. Let's go. <laughs> Home and dry. Umbrella to wand. <laughs> Whoops, it sounds like your wand's got a cold. <laughs> Oh, no! Poor Wandy! It's because she got all wet. I'd better call the wand doctor. Hello, is that the wand doctor? Yes, this is the wand doctor. Yes, we've got a sick wand. Put your wand to bed with a hot water bottle and I'll be right over. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. The doctor says you have to put Wandy to bed and he'll be right over. Achoo! Poor Wandy! The wand doctor is here. Hello. But that's just the wise old elf. I'll have you know I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a fully qualified wand doctor. Oh, I see. We elves make the wands, remember? Yes, why is that? You hate magic. We make wands, but we don't use them. Magic always leads to trouble. Now, where is my patient? Here. Achoo! Ah, that's loud. <laughs> Tongue out, please. As I thought, a cold. I suggest plenty of rest. The wand needs to stay in bed and keep nice and warm. Will Wandy be able to do magic? Oh, no, no, no. There'll be no waving Wandy around for a while. Oh. What'll I do without a wand? Funny you should ask. I've been working on a brand new wand. Maybe you'd like to try it out. Wow! It's been top secret until now. I call it the Wise Wand 3000. Even I didn't know about it. Gosh, thanks, Wise Old Elf. It's so pretty. You're my best friend. Ooh! And it talks. I love you. Incredible. Amazing. That's not all. This wand has a very special feature no other wand has. What special feature? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. I have to say, wands don't get any better than this. What did he mean by that? What does he ever mean? I always lose interest halfway through. I can't wait to do some magic with my Wise Wand 3000. Well, you will have to wait till tomorrow because it's nearly bedtime. Oh, Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. Bye, Gaston. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Morning, Daddy. Morning, Holly. You're my best friend. Ah, the new wand. How is it? It's amazing. I love you. <laughs> Good news, Princess Holly. Wandy is better. The wand doctor was right. She just needed a bit of rest. Oh, that's nice. So you can take that new wand back to the wise old elf if you like. Uh, I think I might like to keep it for a bit. 
I haven't even tried doing magic with it yet. Oh, well, what should we do with this? Um, I don't really need it anymore. Can you put it with my baby toys? OK. Oh, well, there you go. Holly's got a new wand now. You're my best friend. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Holly. Hello, Ben. Hello, Fleur. Is that a new wand? Yes. It's called the Wise Wand 3000. I love you. Wow, it talks. Yes, it's very, very new and top secret. You're my best friend. Oh, <laughs> let's play a game. Yes, what shall we play? Let's play princesses, knights and naughty witches. Yes. I'll be the princess because I am a princess. And I'll be the brave knight. OK. Wow, real armour. And I'll be the naughty witch. <laughs> what do we do now? The brave knight has to rescue the princess from a tower. What tower? Ha <laughs> ha, this tower. How am I going to rescue you from that? In the stories, the princess grows her hair really long and the knight climbs up it. Oh, yes. Ooh. Climb up that hair, Ben. <laughs> Easy. Elves are good at climbing up hair and I'm an elf. <laughs> I've come to rescue you. Thank you, Brave Knight. <laughs> <laughs> but now you're both trapped. <laughs> oh. We can easily get down. Not if I put bars on the window. Oh, we're stuck. Ha 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 ha. Fleur, lunchtime. Oh, that's my mum. I've got to go. Bye. OK. Bye, Fleur. How are we going to get down? Don't worry. I've got my Wise Wand 3000. You're my best friend. OK, let's get out of here. I love you. Oh, it didn't work. I love you. It's not doing anything. What happened the last time you used it? Nothing. I haven't done any magic with it yet. I love you. It's useless. I wish I had my old wand. <coughs> oh, it's Gaston. Gaston could fetch help. Yes, Gaston, go and get Wandy. Fetch, Gaston, fetch. <coughs> Gaston, you're in a hurry today. <laughs> hey, where are you going with Wandy? The Wise Wand 3000 is meant to be a very special wand, but it doesn't do anything. Maybe it's broken. It doesn't look broken. Does it ever say anything else? No, apart from... You're my best friend. That. It's actually a bit annoying. Yes, my old ones never talked. It just... Oh, Wandy! My old wand! Here, Gaston! Wandy! Hooray! Oh, Wandy, I'm so glad to see you. Now, let's get down from this tower. Yes, indeed. Phew! I think I'll use my old wand from now on. Ah, Princess Holly, how are you getting on with a wise wand 3000? It's broken. Is it? I love you. 
It looks perfectly fine to me. But it doesn't do magic. Yes, that's the special feature I was talking about. No magic. What? A wand that doesn't do magic? Correct. You see, magic always leads to trouble and also... But a wand that doesn't do magic is not a wand. It's just a stick. So, you're saying that the Wise Wand 3000 is good for absolutely nothing? Yes. yes. <laughs> I know one thing it's good for. Yes? Here, Gaston. Fetch the stick. <laughs> you're my best friend. <laughs> Gaston loves fetching sticks. <laughs> I love you. You're my best friend. And I love you, Wandy. You're my best friend. Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Superheroes. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, Hi Ben. ben. I'm not Ben. Yes, you are. Ben is my usual name. But when I put on my superhero costume, I become Elfman. What does Elf Boy do? Elfman. He can run and jump and fly. That's not flying. This is flying. Uh, but I can fly in the Elfmobile. <coughs> but that's just Gaston. No. It's the Elfmobile. The Elfmobile can go on land, sea or air. Ooh. We can be superheroes too. Yes. yes. I'll be Fairy Girl. I'll be Captain Crazy. I'll be the strongest boy in the world. And we can all do nice things and help people. Hang on. We can't all be goodies. Someone has to be the baddie. The what? You know, a supervillain. Ooh! Can I be the supervillain? OK, Strawberry. Do I help people too? No. You have to try and take over the world. The whole world? Well, maybe we should just start with the Little Kingdom. And I'll try and stop you. OK. I will be the Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry ice cream? Ice queen, not cream. Oh. Super villains always have a gang. We'll be the gang. So, it will be Elf Man and Fairy Girl against Strawberry Ice Queen and her gang. <laughs> the goodies will win. The baddies will win. No, the goodies will win. To the Elfmobile. Come on, Fairy Girl. Do your worst, Ice Queen. Okay, fairy girl. Bye. I'm the ice queen, so maybe I should make it a bit cold. It's chilly. Yes, that's because I'm the ice queen. Sorry. My goodness, it's cold. Yes, and in the middle of summer. Very odd. Very odd indeed. <laughs> It's gone all cold. I bet the Ice Queen has something to do with that. Yes, let's go to the Elf Cave. This is just Gaston's house. Well, today it's the Elf Cave. Here's the Elf Computer. I invented it myself. But it's a cardboard box. Ah, as I thought, Strawberry Ice Queen has made it cold on purpose. But how do you know that? There's nothing on the screen. <sighs> it's pretend, remember, Holly? Oh, yes. The computer doesn't really work. That would be crazy. Whoa! Mwahaha! <laughs> it's me, the Ice Queen. How are you, Elf Boy? Elf Man! And how did you do that? This computer's just a cardboard box. I can do anything. I'm the one who made it cold. Ha! I wouldn't say it's that cold. No. We're not even wearing gloves. Ha! Oh, yes? I can make it colder if you like. Do your worst. You'll never stop Elf Man and Fairy Girl. We'll see about that. Mwahaha! <laughs> 
lunch time. Oh, I've got to go. I'm having pizza for lunch. Pizza? Can we all come too? Can we? Please. OK, you can all come for pizza. There you are. I was getting worried what with this mad weather. Mum, my friends have come for lunch too. Is that OK? Yes, of course. We're superheroes. And super villains. <laughs> That's nice. Who wants pizza? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> we can't stop long. I've got to take over the world. And Ben and I have to save the world. Oh, good. So you'll need to keep your strength up then. Hmm. What's the best way of taking over the world? You are the Ice Queen. You could make it snow. Yes, maybe I will. Thanks, fairy girl. Come on, let's get on with the game. We're off to our secret hideout. Us too. Bye. 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 OK, I'm going to make it snow. Snow, 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 snow. <laughs> snow now as well. In July. Oh, this is ridiculous. Why is old elf? Why is old elf? There's something you have to see. Eh? What's that? Come with me. I'll show you. Is it much further? I'm freezing. We're here. Look. What on earth? Where are we? The very edge of the little kingdom. And the snow stops here. Snow, no snow. Snow, no snow. Snow. Yes, thank you, Mrs Elf. We get the idea. No snow. But what is causing this strange snow? It's magic. Magic. And I'll bet my beard that Nanny Palum has done it. Dee dee da dum dee dum dee do. Dee dee da dum. Nanny Palum, whatever you're doing, stop it. What? The washing? No, the snow. It's not my fault. Oh, come on, Nanny. It's always your fault. No, it's normally my fault, but not today. Then who on earth is doing it? Maybe it's a supervillain. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Nanny Plum. Why is that ridiculous? Because supervillains don't exist. What about superheroes? They don't exist either. It's a lot of nonsense. Then what's that? It's a superhero symbol in the sky. Oh, let's find out where it's coming from. Now, when the people of the world need help, they'll know where to find the elf cave. Really? Will people really ask us for help? Well, no. It's just a game. No one is actually going to knock on the door. Huh? Hello? Is anyone there? That's my dad. Anyone home? Isn't this where Gaston lives? Maybe a superhero lives here too. That's the silliest thing I've heard in all my life. Hello, this is Elfman and Fairy Girl. We are superheroes. See, told you. Elfman? Who's Elfman? Can we come in? No, our secret identities have to remain a, a secret. Can you help us? The whole of the little kingdom is covered in snow. Yes, that's the work of the Ice Queen. She is a supervillain. You see, a supervillain. All right, all right. Leave your problem with Elf Man and Fairy Girl. We'll take care of it. Thank you, Elf Boy. Ah, Elf Man. We have to find Strawberry's secret hideout and tell her to stop the snow. <laughs> The whole of the Little Kingdom is freezing cold. Even in here? Yes. My bottom is getting cold sitting on the ice throne. Couldn't you be the Sunshine Queen instead? It's too late now. I'm Strawberry Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry's hideout must be around here somewhere. We need to look out for a sort of place that a supervillain Ice Queen might live in. Uh, like that? Giant palace of ice. This is better than the elf cave any day. No, it's not. It's just showing off. <laughs> not so fast, Strawberry Ice Queen. What brings?
brings you here, elf boy? Elf man! I've come to stop you. But you can't stop me. I'm the ice queen. <laughs> oh, that's cold. Strawberry, the grown-ups are a bit cross about all the freezing snow. Oops, are they? Yes. yes. Are we in trouble? I don't think we're in trouble, as long as the game is over. OK. Do I win? No, the goodies win. That's not fair. You're stuck in the ice. Oh, OK, you win. Hooray! Finally, I can get rid of the ice throne. My bottom is freezing. <laughs> The sun is out! The little kingdom is saved. All thanks to Elf Man and Fairy Girl. If only we knew their secret identities. But we never will. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Dolly Plum. <laughs> Elephant! Elephant! Big! <laughs> Elephant! Elephant! <laughs> Gracious! What are the twins up to? They sound like a herd of elephants! They're being very noisy! Ah, oh, good. They've gone quiet. Quiet isn't good. It means they're up to something. You better go up and see, Nanny. Yes, Your Majesty. Daisy, Poppy... Dolly! Ah! <laughs> Daisy, Poppy, what have you done? Turn me back at once. Hello, I'm Dolly Plum. <laughs> Dolly Plum is lots of fun. <laughs> Nanny's taking a long time. Should we have a look? You know what the twins are like. Naughty. Very naughty. I'm Dolly Plum. Change my nappy, please. <laughs> I didn't know the twins had a Nanny Plum doll. Mm, they don't. I think that is Nanny Plum. That's right. It is me. Can you please turn me back? Poor Nanny. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Not all this noise again. Couldn't you be a dolly for a while just to keep them quiet? No way. I have a lot of work to get on with. There's the washing and the iron. <laughs> Dolly Plum! Dolly Plum! <laughs> ah, peace and quiet. Carry on, Nanny. Now what am I going to do? I won't get any work done if I stay like this. Don't worry, Nanny. I can turn you back. <laughs> oh, thanks, Holly. <laughs> now the twins are crying again. I know. The elves could make a Nanny Plum doll. Elves are good at making things. And I'm an elf. <laughs> Good idea, Ben. Wise old elf, can you make a nanny plum doll? It's for the twins. <laughs> well, now, what does this doll look like? Dolly plum. Ah! Uh, it looks like that. Oh, I see. Daisy, Poppy, you turn me back this instant or I'll... I'm Dolly plum. Feed me, please. <laughs> yes, I think we can make a copy of this. Come along, please. If I press your tummy, will you sing a song? Don't you even think of pressing my tummy. Dolly Plum is lots of fun. <laughs> you are indeed. You are indeed. So, how are you going to copy me? We'll use this copying machine. This is how it works. If we take this tennis ball and put it right here... <laughs> an exact copy. Ooh. Now, for Dolly Plum. Um, actually, I've changed my mind. Can you put me down, please? I don't think I want to do this today. Thank you. Thank you, Nanny. You just have. What do you mean? What do you mean? Yes, Your Majesty. No, Your Majesty. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like me. <laughs> it does a bit, Nanny. 
Dolly Plum. It's a perfect copy. Yes, and now that we've copied Nanny, we can make as many as we want. Hold on. Let's stick to one, just to keep the twins happy. I quite agree. One Nanny Plum is quite enough. Fine. Now will someone please magic me back again? OK, Nanny. Oh, that's better. Now I can get on with my work. My Dolly! 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 Dolly. Wah! Oh, dear. They want a Dolly each. Wah! But we promised Nanny Plum we'd only make one. One more wouldn't hurt. Just to keep the twins happy. <laughs> my Dolly. My Dolly. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Ooh, look. It's a Nanny Plum doll. I'm Dolly Plum. I'm sleepy. <laughs> Where did you get her? She's really funny. Can I have one? Me too. Me too. Oh, we're only supposed to make one and I've already made two. Please. <laughs> well, I suppose it's all right to make a few more. Thank you. Dolly. Hello, I'm yes, Dolly your majesty. Plum. Hello, your majesty. Oh, it's so sweet. Oh, what's this? Whatever. These are rather good. Are we making them? They're just a one-off. Uh, of ten. They seem to be rather popular. <laughs> Dolly. Hello, Hello, I'm Dolly Dolly Plum. Plum. Indeed. Perhaps we should make more. <laughs> Da 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 da. <laughs> I'm Dolly Plum. <laughs> Dolly Plum. Careful with that, Daisy. It's the only dolly of its kind in the world. Dolly Plum. My Dolly Plum. Oh, it seems that there are two of them. <laughs> hm. I'm going to have a word with that wise old elf. Ah, Nanny Plum. Don't you Nanny Plum me? I said make only one dolly, and you've made two. Uh, yes. Sorry, Nanny Plum. Yes, well, don't let it happen again. Uh, right -o. <gasps> He's made loads of them! He's lots of fun. <gasps> this is outrageous! Right! Wise old elf! Wise old elf! Where are you? <laughs> Just how many of these things have you made? Thousands, actually. I don't believe it! But they are very popular. Let me show you one in its gift box. Gift box? Ooh, Dolly, Dolly Plum! Daisy, Poppy, don't you even think about... Ah! <laughs> Daisy, Poppy! Here we are. Oh, where's Nanny gone? Daisy, Poppy, turn me back at once. Hello? Have you fallen off the production line? No! I'm not a toy. I'm Nanny Plum. Ah, Nanny Elf. Wise old elf, have you seen Nanny? She was here, but she seems to have vanished. <laughs> Daisy, Poppy, did you magic Nanny into a dolly again? Dolly, Dolly. Oh, no. Nanny must be in one of these boxes. Ah. But there are thousands of them. How are we going to find her? We'll have to open up every one. Oh, We'd better get started. Hug me, please. Hmm, too nice. You're my best friend. Too friendly. Oh, I thought I'd be stuck there forever. Thank you, wise old elf. Too polite. Wait, I really am the real Nanny Plum. No, no, you're a dolly. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm not. You're just a very clever doll. I know, I made you. OK, Smarty Pants. If I'm just a doll, I wouldn't be able to do magic, would I? Of course not. Dollies can't do magic. Holly, one, please. I'm going to turn you into a slug. Ha! Just you try. <laughs> OK. You are Nanny Plum. <laughs> Oof, that's better. Uh, Nanny, can you turn me back too, please? OK. Silly old elf, back to yourself. <laughs> you promised you'd only make one doll, and you've made thousands. But, Nanny, 
It's an honour to have a toy that looks like you. Oh, is it? Well, let's see how you like it. I'm a grumpy old elf. <laughs> <laughs> Very amusing. If you're quite finished... Nearly. I'm a grumpy old elf. I'm, I'm a grumpy, grumpy old, old elf. elf. I'm, I'm a grumpy, grumpy old elf. Now I'm finished. Oh, dear. How undignified. What are we going to do with all these? Well, Daisy and Poppy like them. Look. Elfie, Elfie. <laughs> you know, I think fairies are rather last year. This year, elf dollies will be the thing. I'm old and wise with twinkly eyes. Hmm, you are a handsome little fellow. I can see why the children like you. And you've got lots of them now. Yes, thousands. Hooray! Elves like tooting their horns. And we're elves. Oh, no! Cover your ears. Oh. <laughs> 